As the president at Mercer County Community College, I'm responsible to be sure that we offer learning and student success to everyone in Mercer County who needs that. We offer degrees, we offer preparation for adults who need extra help to get started. Our mission is about creating futures and I love it. People are always interested in how you move through a career path and I'll tell you it's an adventure that's a hindsight. Nobody would have predicted I would be a president, least of all me. I was a math and physics teacher. Then I had an opportunity to train teachers while I was working on my advanced degree. And then I had an opportunity to work in institutional research because I was a good mathematician and suddenly I was working in part of human resources and how to run the whole college and new opportunities poke their heads up. Leaders take those opportunities and follow them to where they go. I wouldn't say I have a single role model because I think we learn from lots of role models, but some of the biggest who stand out would be my father who always pushed for excellence and lived and spoke a social justice agenda all the time. And Eleanor Roosevelt, who pretty much did the same thing, a woman who stood up at a time when women often didn't, and who said these issues for fairness and quality of life for people are important. Sometimes to help motivate people, you have to help them be where they didn't expect to be and then be standing behind saying, yes, you're doing fine. Sometimes for Girl Scouts, it's to achieve a badge they maybe thought they couldn't get. Uh, that's certainly one of the Girl Scout strategies that helps build leaders because you're encouraging people to set new goals all the time. The next service project, the next badge, the next award. And that's how leaders grow throughout their life people who are always alert that there's more to learn and another goal to set. I was a Girl Scout, my daughter was a Girl Scout and is a leader. My granddaughter is a Girl Scout working on her silver award. So we've got generations of understanding that Girl Scouts provide ways for girls to learn new things, to have a broader array of role models, and to see the wide world of opportunities and set new goals for themselves. One of the most important things is being a career you're passionate about and everybody needs to know that passion in the way you speak to them and the way you lead and the way you deliver. Some of the causes that have followed me around the country are scouting. I've served on several Girl Scout councils. I did major work with the American Cancer Society both in fundraising and in the educational messages. I've also had some pretty big roles with the Humane Society in care and humane treatment of animals. And as the education leader for the Humane Society, connecting that to humane treatment of animals is one way of learning about humane treatment of other people. And for certain children and certain adults, that's an important way to teach that lesson. My message to Girl Scouts is to keep learning and learning from the network of girls you're meeting and the array of leaders and others because all of these experiences will help you as you grow into the life you're building for yourself. Receiving this award from Girl Scouts really reflects something that's been with me my entire life, beginning as a Girl Scout and then giving back both actively as cookie mother and, and troop leader, but also on the Girl Scout board. So I, I've experienced every stage of Girl Scouts for a lifetime, and this is indeed a lifetime achievement for me.